You know what the biggest problem with the iPad is? Not nearly enough Linux. So, let's fix that in today's video. Right now, on the Linux Lounge. So indeed, in today's video, we're going to be installing Linux on an iPad. Specifically, we're going to be using an iPad Pro using an app called UTM. Now, explaining how to install UTM is out of the scope of this video, since you will actually need to sideload it as it's not in the App Store, which is done using a program called Alt Store, which is pretty easy to find information about online. Once you have Alt Store installed, you can download UTM from their website and install it. There's a choice between installing standard UTM and UTM SE. Essentially, the difference is that UTM SE is slower, but standard UTM requires an exploit to launch, which I couldn't seem to get working. Once we have UTM installed, the next step is to grab their pre-built Debian image and open it in UTM. Helpfully, UTM will then download all the files we need and set them up for us. From there, we can start the virtual machine and... Oh no, it's really slow. Yeah, unfortunately, once the virtual machine is loaded, you'll notice that everything is extremely slow and it's hard to do much of anything. In fact, it was so slow that trying to upgrade the system caused the virtual machine to crash. I was, however, able to launch LibreOffice and do a bit of writing, so that's cool, I guess. So I guess, unfortunately, that's the end of today's video. This was kind of pointless, but hey, it's cool to see Linux running on yet another device. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I thank you for watching it, and I will see you in the next one.